What's up folks, welcome back to another street photography POV video. So anyways, I'd already been shooting for maybe about 20 minutes at this point, but this was one of the first photos I got after turning the camera on. And there's this guy just chilling out with his drum at the side of the street here. And I was at first going for a reflection and then tried to include a bit more in the scene. And this here was the first one. I quite like this one, it's further back and you can see his whole reflection. As I got closer, I sort of forgot about the reflection and in the background there's the guy pointing with his hand and I thought maybe this one would work out better but I think the first one was preferable to me. Then very shortly after that as well, we've got some interesting characters cutting around Denver today. This guy leaning against the lamppost here. At first I thought this couple walking through would add to the picture, but um, now that I've reviewed it, I actually think that had that street corner been empty, it would work out much nicer. And another character, this was less than like 100 yards away. This lady in, dressed in all pink is checking out the board at this far place. I don't think the picture came out particularly good, but she's just like, she's pointing at something on the board, um, doing something with her hand at her face, and there's also this this like woman in engraved or whatever it is inside the railings behind. I thought that was almost a juxtaposition that I didn't see at the time I was just shooting, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. After we got to the top of Denver, we flipped back around and on the way back, this guy was still standing here. So tried another shot from the other side, slightly different lighting condition, I guess, because the light's hitting them. And this one actually, I think, turned out a lot better. We've got that red awning in the background there and it came out pretty cool with the reflection. Sort of makes it kind of graphic looking. We've got the couple um, off to the sides there. And yeah, I, I like this one. The guy's not really sleeping against the wall. He's sort of woke up at this point, so he's just chilling out, but I think this is one of my favorites. In the distance here, I could see a guy like shielding his eyes from the sun, looking at something, And but he stopped. And as we got close, he started to like pull up his pants or adjust his belt or something like that. So I shot that and I thought this one turned out kind of cool. It was like a detail shot. And then I kept shooting just as I was going past and I sort of accidentally got this couple walking through as I was shooting between the sign and the guy. But also, I quite liked about this picture is over on the far right hand side it says uh, Trump smokes mids and I thought that was kind of funny. I did not notice that at the time. This little street is quite often kind of quiet and usually when it is busy it's just people eating lunch or whatever it is. But I like to walk down here and just see what's happening. But today there was a, a an inflatable woolly mammoth. so. Hung around here for a second to see if we could find something interesting. After a couple minutes, this guy walks past. Not particularly interesting, he's not doing anything extraordinary, but I just tried to make a frame for just, just the sake of it, really. I got close here and tried to create some sort of abstract shapes with, with the tusks and like different ways of like framing this mammoth thing. We've got this one, this is Jack walking through on the right there, and there's a guy in the distance. It needs something more for me to really like it. I do like the composition with like the weird things in the frame, that's not that common to see. And then one more, I thought this might work out with a, with a sort of uh, diminishing perspective thing of the three different people, but it's still not enough there's not enough there's something interesting missing from here that sort of bugs me this is more just experimenting with sort of compositions and trying to make shapes and abstracts again this was terrible if you watched my street photography tips video recently what i'm missing here with this guy walking through is figure to ground had the background been lighter than him or darker than him then it might well have worked out okay because I would have got some sort of a shape to the person, but basically you can't see anything here. Let's point the camera at this little dog that's between the mammoth's legs. He's kind of far away though, sort of like halfway hoping that something interesting would happen or pass through one of those other shapes there. 
Um, this is a good visual note though, so I would come back here if that mammoth is still there next time. And same again, facing over to the left, just making abstract shapes and hoping that something might pass through. One thing that proves that I always should be ready is when skateboarders fly past me doing cool gestures and I don't really get anything interesting or frame it up properly, but I do have the sort of halfway finished gesture in there and some motion blur gives it that spontaneity, but not in the light or anything and I don't know if I really like the amount of shadow that's in this picture. This was just a guy sleeping in the middle of the street, which I thought was a uncommon sight to be dead center of the pavement. Walking through this train station just to see if sometimes there's interesting stuff here. The architecture is kind of nice as well. This little silhouette wasn't too bad when this woman walked past. There's a really interesting guy on the left hand side of the frame here. We followed him for a little bit. I didn't really get anything interesting for this is a terrible photo, I hate it. But I'm just shooting photos for the sake of it, just to try and work something out. Um, but you know, he doesn't he's not doing anything interesting and we didn't really get him in an interesting spot. But it's always worth following interesting people for a little bit and seeing if it works out. And this interesting person leaned against this railing in a in fairly interesting way. Not, I think he was maybe just stretching, but again, the light's not good enough. There's something missing from it, but you've got to take the shot and see what happens. As we come to the other end of this tunnel, there's a guy fixing his shoes or something, or I don't know, he picked, he picked something up off the ground. Not exactly sure what he was doing, but I shot a photo of it. Didn't really work out. I liked that he was wearing all red, which was kind of cool. Then we got the bus to the other end of 16th Street again, or back up to the busy area at least. And as we're waiting, this person gets on the bus, just shooting photos for the sake of it, kind of like the hand in the corner. We saw this crew on these one wheels a little bit before and we're trying to get ahead of them because they kept kind of stopping. They seem to be a, some sort of club, they had like t-shirts with one wheels on them. And normally one person on a one wheel might not be that interesting but six people on one wheels becomes a little more interesting. And then just before my battery ran out or I accidentally switched the GoPro off, I shot through the windows of that bus coming past. And this one, is, it's not great, but um, I kind of like the TH on the window, to be honest. So today shooting, I felt way more positive than I did the last time I was out and I was complaining that I just thought I was not getting any good photos. And today, I think maybe I got one photo that I actually quite like and the rest are just kind of like, yeah, they're okay, but I could have done a lot better. And it's weird that I felt way more positive shooting today. I think I just needed like, I've took like a three week break from it basically and I think I just needed that reset. And even when I tried to make a photo set, I didn't really get anything that I liked. The one that I liked the most was this one, which was like my three favorite photos. But I think this one looks better, where I just switch a couple of the photos around. But overall, I don't like that photo set because I don't really like the third photo in it. Today's video was basically made possible by Peter Busser, who was the first person who had supported me on buymeacoffee.com paid for my parking. So thank you very much, Peter. As things are right now, YouTube is not particularly profitable and there are not a lot of wedding photography work around to the point where I'm, might, I'm probably gonna have to go and get a normal day job. So any help like that to pay for travel and parking is much appreciated in order to help me keep making these videos. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already, drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.